Washington Mystics basketball player Christy Tolliver makes only $10,000 as an assistant coach for the Washington Wizards, while others in the same role earn sometimes $100,000 or more, according to new reports. Tolliver's limited salary is the result of a rule established by the Women's National Basketball Association, the New York Times reported this week. The rule, a collective bargaining agreement, stipulates all Mystics players who work for the Wizards in the offseason, this includes Tolliver, 31, as the DC teams have the same ownership, cannot be paid more than a combined $50,000. And when Tolliver took the job in 2018, much of that pot was already dedicated to her teammate Elena Del Don, who promotes the Mystics when she's not playing, according to the outlet. The Times reported that the collective bargaining agreement was put in place when it was atypical for women players to work for the NBA team. The owner of the Mystics and the Wizards, Ted Leonisis, addressed the controversy in a tweet on New Year's Day. The league rules and collective bargaining agreements never contemplated having a WNBA player also working as an NBA coach, the monumental sport CEO wrote. We're glad to be the first, and the rules need to change. Christie is a critical member of our family at Monumental Sports. This iteration of the collective bargaining agreement may be coming in an end, however. According to CBS Sports, the players recently opted out of it, a decision that will go into effect next season and could set the stage for a wider range of paid opportunities within the WNBA. The vote took place in November, and it's likely that the league will comply with a new arrangement because it ultimately will increase promotion of their games, allow more time for the players to rest their bodies, and put more attention on their talent, the Times reported. As Mike Bass, who oversees public relations for both leagues, told the Times there is a cap on both the in-season an off-season salary that a WNBA team or team affiliate can pay to its players. While it's necessary for competitive fairness to ensure the integrity of the WNBA salary cap, the league is committed to providing robust career development opportunities to both current and former players. Agreeing to the low salary was a difficult decision for Tolliver, but she wanted the chance to learn from some of the best coaches and players in the world, she told the Times. You can't just pull any woman off the streets to do this, just like you can't pull any guy off the streets to do this, Tolliver explained. It can't just be any woman. It's not about that. If they know that you can make them better, make them more successful, they'll listen. Reps from the Mystics, the Wizards and the WNBA did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. 